I'm hardcore like a pretty little girl and he's and he's gonna be upset we messed up his goddamn hair uh, just know that that kid's gonna grow up with gender identity issues all right now hmm back to the po uh, Pokemon professorator and now here's where we get to uh, name our rival I'm gonna do what I did with mine and attempt to name him in characters I can recognize in the Japanese language so I think I do I can't pick any that I actually recognize the symbols to anymore, so what they mean. Hmm. Uh, I know what I'm gonna name him. There is I think that's the right one. Uh, I think, let me check. The other symbols. Ah. I don't know what that means, but I recognize it and I like adding in the elongated sound. I think the last one is N. Uh, yeah, so we should be able to pick that out. Hmm. Uh, now we talk to the professor. And, uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Shut up and give me Pokeballs. Yeah, you're gonna call me and ask me to take this egg. I don't give a damn about Togepi. I just straight up do not give a shit about Togepi. And I've gotta evolve through happiness. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. <clears throat> come on, come on. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, take the fucking egg, sit on it, and leave me alone. Mm, yeah, thank you. Give me the Pokeballs. That's what I want. That's what I actually want. The only thing that matters to me right now. <coughs> Let me see. Well, maybe we should grab a bug type. We are headed to, I think it's Sprout Tower next, which will get us, um,. You know, a good amount of plant type Pokemon. Oh god. Where is the. Do I get to refuse this? No, I don't want to see it. Good. Fuck off. Stay in the grass. No one loves you. Alright, now. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Pidgey. I don't want that thing. No, you go to hell, flying squirrel. Fat, ugly, unloved flying squirrel thing. That's like my girlfriend's mother. She too, er, she too is a fat, ugly, unloved flying squirrel. I only say that because she can extend the flaps of fat underneath her arm and fly majestically through the air like a blimp. Uh, really? This is all that's attacking us now. <coughs> Sorry. Nah, just die. We're going to end up getting to the point where when we do finally run into something we want to catch, we're going to kill it in one hit. Blah, blah, blah. Not that it really matters, because you can catch most, if not all, of the starting area Pokemon without actually damaging them, if I recall. I know that you couldn't Pokemon Red, the ones right outside the door, you didn't have to throw a damn thing at them. Or you didn't have to hit them a damn bit. Really? Fucking fat ass raccoon squirrel. You will die like your brethren before you. Because, think about this. You know, it says, oh my god, you knocked them unconscious. Not all Pokemon are herbivores. You're in an area filled with Pokemon, you're knocking Pokemon the hell out in the grass, 
some, you know, predator is gonna come along and go, hey look, free lunch. So that, the Pokemon you knock out are dead. I'm sorry, they're, they're as good as dead. That or another trainer is just gonna come along and go, free Pokemon, and catch it. I know I would. I would be the opportunistic Pokemon hunter. Of course, I would wear a blindfold most of the time, too, so that these fuckers can't make eye contact with you. It would suck to be a blind Pokemon trainer. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that somewhere in the series, though, there has been a blind Pokemon trainer. That series has gone on forever. Fucking ever, I mean. How old is Ash now? 18 or so? Jesus Christ. Ah, Pidgey. Pidgey, my friend. Ah, uh, no. uh, we'll attack you once just to make sure. Don't die. Mm, now, what the hell one of these items? I believe bottom... Yeah, that one should be items. No, that's Pokemon. Which means this one is items. One of these. Those should be balls. Use a ball. Yay, we caught ourselves a Pidgey. Hold down B. I don't know how many of you ever heard that legend, but yeah, I'm sure it's a really impressive Pokemon with really impressive data. Yeah, we'll name him because we're going to need him too. We're going to need to spot him since he's going to be our fly whore. So, question marks it is. It's seriously just going to be alternating exclamation points and question marks depending on the importance of a Pokemon. Alright. Now, let's heal up. We'll we'll upgrade our Pidgey a bit. Oh, fuck! Hammered the A button too much. All right, yeah, we'll uh we'll level up our Pidgey. Keep hitting the button to. All right, that's the Pokedex. That's not helping us at all. Uh, no. Which one of these is Switch? That one. Awesome. I don't play enough Pokemon to remember where the positions of things are. Not at all. It's also nice that throughout the Pokemon games, the uh, interface is something that has changed very little over the years. Ah, let's see. You bastards again. Alright, let's see what Pidgey can do to you. If it looks like he's getting too damaged, you're pink. That's not a shiny, but still. Peck. We pecker at him. Let's see if, which one of us it looks like is going to win first. Come on. Come on, Pidgey now. Peck at your brother. Well, you're both flying type Pokemon, so you're like brothers. And now we're gonna have to heal after every damn battle for a while. I know, I know. Boring as hell. Alright, so this is just the initial week where I'm gonna figure out how this is gonna go, so. <coughs> we'll be able to, uh. better set things up. Ah, uh, I've gotta remember to stop hammering, eh? Because that's actually a lot faster when you stop hammering, eh? Come on, Pidgey, we want you to be good and strong and...